Yo, yo. Day and night. Okay, so it says, look and wonder. Have you ever watched the sun rise? Bright light appears on the horizon. Slowly the sun rises and night becomes morning. The sun's light casts long shadows. How do shadows change during the day? So how, why do you think shadows move from maybe at one point oh, right here I, and the other point there on the other side? So still the same. So here is the sun. The sun here. Okay. Very bright, very bright. And then we got, you know, the sun is super bright. And then it goes around like first arise, then it's gone. So and when then when sha when lights came, the shadow are like here. So the sh I try to change color. The shadow is here. Okay. Like right here. And if the sun is here, the shower will be here, here, then here. Right. And here right. there are no shower. Like if okay. it's here, it will be here. Right. Good. So it's it basically has to do with where the sun is, right? At that point. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so here the main idea is the position of the sun in the sky appears to change during the day. Earth's rotation causes day and night. Okay, so we're going to see exactly what Earth rotation is. And then we have four vocabulary words. We have horizon, rotate, axis, and sphere. So you know two words from right. here, right? Which yes, words do you know? So sphere. Right. And? And then a rotate horizon, perhaps? So horizon is the same word as horizontal. Okay. Mm -hmm. And rotate is, I'll oh, have to explain that. Mm. We'll see. Rotate is when it kind of goes around. Mm -hmm. I okay. guess. We're going around, around, like keep going. Right. Okay, so how does the sun's position in the sky seem to change? Each day the sun seems to move across the sky in a giant arc. In the morning, the sun appears low on the eastern horizon. At midday, it appears high overhead. In the evening, it appears low on the western horizon. The horizon is an imaginary line where the land seems to meet the sky. So it's kind of like this line that goes across. Okay, go ahead. So the line you said, what? So the line you said is something like this. Exactly. Right. So uh, the bottom equator? of the line. Um, like equator. Well, kind. Well, not really. The equator is also a horizontal line, but it's the line that divides the top part of the world with the bottom part of the world, right? Mm -hmm. And a horizon is just a line, so like the one you drew, but on the from the line down, you're gonna have land, and from the top, from the line up, you're gonna have the sky. So it's just that line. Even when you're walking on the street, whenever you see that line where the sky starts, that's your horizon. So first is this. We got ground all over it. Mm -hmm. And then it's the sky. I blue there. 
and this part oh, yeah. well the middle part is just like a yellow line which keeps them apart exactly right so it, we when we try to look for the horizon we don't actually look for a line right there's not going to be a line drawn on the earth but we kind of can see you know where the land and the sky kind of start or meet mm -hmm. okay go ahead Rita. how does the sun's position in the sky seem to change each day the sun seems to move across the sky in a giant arch. In the morning, the sun appears well in the eastern horizon. 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 At midnight, midday, it appears high overhead. In the evening, it appears low on the western uh, horizon. The horizon is an imagined heavy line where the land seems to meet the sky okay good 